Welcome to Heavily 101. My name is Corey Freeman, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the navigation block. The navigation block is a block included with Headway themes that allows you to add links to the various pages on your website. So this is my demo site. You can kind of just see this is the navigation menu. All right, let's go to the home page and open up the visual editor. So this is the navigation block, it's navigation number two. You can put a navigation block anywhere you want. So I could even put one here above the footer to select navigation. You'll see here under content, you manage what links appear by going to WordPress appearance menus. We'll get back to that in a second. You can enable a search bar. You can decide whether or not to hide the home link if you are using the navigation on the blog index, or if you're using the blog index as your front page. You can left align, right align, or center the links. Or you can choose vertical navigation, which just stacks them vertically. It would be similar to this, but drop downs controls the drop down effects. We can look at that in a second. And responsiveness is whether or not you want the navigation to turn into a select box when you resize the screen. It's a basic rundown of all the navigation options. I'm just going to save and show you that it shows up. All right. So you can see here now I have two navigation blocks. I'm going to go to menus again. Let's reload this. So under manage locations, here you can see I've got navigation number two and navigation number six. And I can apply any menu I want by using the drop down. Or I can use an entirely new menu. And this could be the footer menu. And so maybe for this menu, I just want, I don't know, categories to show up. So now when I reload my front page, you can see I've got my home pages, etc., and then my categories down here in the search bar using these two navigation blocks. Um, I will show you horizontal navigation just take out this widget block and draw a new one here. I click navigation, orientation, vertical. You can see that it stacks them. And if I reload, that's how that works. Drop down menus. Um, let's go ahead and do that for the main menu. I'm just going to drag gallery and contact under blog so that you can see how that looks. So what you do is you just click and drag these links until they indent. And then when I refresh the home page, they'll appear under blog as a drop down. Um, so if I open up this navigation blocks options and do drop downs, you can select fade or slide. I really like slide, actually, I used a lot. Or you can have no effect at all. Um, and the hover intent is just whether or not you want the drop down to show for more than a second. Just leave this checked. All right. As far as responsiveness goes, I'm just going to show you that when I, re when I resize the screen, I didn't set my grid to responsive, so that's why that's not working. Oops. Enabling my responsive grid.
All right. When you resize, you'll see that the navigation turns into a select box. And all of them will do that, depending on how wide. And when you drag it back, they'll become items again. And you can turn that off under responsiveness if you want to. So you can see it doesn't, it just stays like that. And then it still drops down. All right, those are the basics of working with the navigation block. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.